Welcome to the Honeymoon Series, where Andrew and I celebrate a year being married, 10 years together, and a bucket list trip seeing Walt Disney World decked out for Christmas. In this episode, we're back at Epcot and it's sunny. A great opportunity to check out Journey of Water inspired by Moana. It was amazing and we had so much fun. This might have been one of my favorite park days. We were thorough, attempted the cookie stroll, had an amazing Italian lunch, and even heard some insane vocals. Then finishing off the night revisiting Journey of Water was a completely different experience from the daytime. Lots more to come, so I hope you'll stick around. Good morning and welcome to another Disney vlog. We are heading to Epcot this morning. Might have missed Rope Drop, but we mean business this morning. Andrew was like, <laughs> this morning just going, these are going to be the best vlogs ever. And uh, whilst downing some lem sip and whilst downing some lem sip and sorting his camera out. Mm -hmm. I think the, the last few days at Universal, well, one of the days, he didn't get his camera out too much because the weather wasn't good and trying to rain, but not really succeeding. It just, he didn't get what he wanted to get, but we did eventually. It just didn't happen on that particular day. So he's in, um, well, you're in, uh, I'm in power mode. Yeah, you're in power mode. And I am just really, really excited to see Epcot in the sunshine see Moana's journey of water in the sunshine because we've been parking that to one side until it was uh, like a lovely day like this and then the aim is is that I'd like to see it in the sunshine or slash in the daytime but also see it at night because they light it up really well apparently allegedly and we've binned off steak House 71. Yeah, we binned off Steakhouse 71. We're just gonna have to come back and do it. Or when we do our 60 days in advance, put it's that up the priority right. list. Right, it's just mostly because that was at 8.50 tonight at the Contemporary. It's a bit of a dodgy time. Yeah, when we would want to come home, I think. So we've got... Uh, and do you know what? Andrew's not feeling well. We, we're not old, but we do have a bedtime. We do wanna have a Andy, last couple Andy, of long days. Last, last 10 years. We can't last. <laughs> no. And steaks, Steakhouse 71 is good food, very good food, and the des the desserts are very much desired. So eating that late, going back to the room, we it would just be another late night because you know we wouldn't sleep. But we have the place, the Steakhouse, and the Steakhouse. Just because we're going to go to what's it called? The Yacht Club. We're going to the Yacht Club instead, which works out better with the plans that we've got. We didn't even know about it, but we were like, what can we substitute our reservation with tonight? And I have never seen the Broadwalk either. Is it Boardwalk or Broadwalk? The Yachtsman's Steakhouse. The Yachtsman's Steakhouse. Um, so that is on the agenda. Oh my God. I mean, it's moving. Get a lift. Yeah. No? I mean, this is going to take half take an hour, 40 minutes to get through. It's going to take 20 minutes, half an hour, but then all the processions. And this is why you have a little bit of a budget when things like this happen. Or just be more organised. Yeah, maybe you don't copy what we do. Just learn. What car did you get, Andrew? Minivan. I want to be a drop out right out the front. Do you want to jump in? Yeah. Oh, oh you're right. I didn't realise there was a step there. We are getting the royal treatment. Amazing. Thank you so much. Here right there, then you got your touch points, and you're in. Fab, thank you. Have a lovely rest of your day. That was a good shout. That was a good shout. Here it is. Take the piss. I know, I'm sorry. I'm on a honeymoon. If we want to get a minivan, we'll get a minivan. But also, we now know that the Skyliner is no joke. So, look, We've said this like three more times. No, I think this, this comes down to personal organisation and, you know, what we have, to, like what we budgeted. Now, I budgeted $35 per person per day for worst case scenario, Genie plus emergencies, which was if there's a problem with DAS, if there was a problem with anything. Yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, I mean, we're not using Genie Plus today. We've got some budget left over for 
what I class as emergency transportation. Yeah. Whereby we just want to get in, get to the park as quickly as possible, which we've done. Yeah. And most efficiently, which we've also done. Yeah. Well, is that the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, try again. Amazing. Thank you. I can't recommend that enough. It's so quiet. And I'm assuming this is, it is this bit here, isn't it? I just wanted to see the journey of water really quiet. But, you know, it's new. No. How do you come in? She's like, is it warm? <laughs> it is warm. It is warm. The question is, again, I have seen spoilers. Whether I'm gonna walk through the rain or not with all this tech. So down here. Stand on So that was Stream, so you're traveling together through the stream. Now we're at the wetland area. Quite ironic for Florida. So you've got a dry path, which Andrew's gone down. And I'm doing the wet path. Please stay on the path and keep water clean. <laughs> got the spring. Stand on here. Uh. <laughs> go higher, go higher. Oh. <laughs> right, which one are you going through? Can you go the wet path? Did you get wet? You got you went too too confident in the thing. Go. <laughs> yeah, that was too fast. See no, that was good. No, I got wet, my feet are soaked. I didn't get wet. Look how wet it is. Because you ran through it. You did. Right, we're now at the lake. Oh, she's beautiful. I maybe did swear when I saw her. I was shocked. I didn't know. It was like you come around the corner and then bam, there she is. She looks really, really pretty. So there's little dome lights in the water and you just know that this lit up at night is going to be insane. She's stunning. I like the tiny little shell details. Oh. I'm ready for this one. Oh, I got wet. You ready? Oh gosh. You need more than one person. But my feet. I'm just watching you. Oh, you gotta jump. So double jump. <laughs> we can't just enjoy stuff without going, oh, that's a really good shot. No, I know. I tried to document it as best as I could, but I was having so much fun. So no doubt we'll be, uh, we'll be back getting more photos and having some more fun. But that, is, that was so much better than what I thought it would be. Because all I've seen of it is online. Yeah. I mean, you're soaked. I'm drying off. What did you think? 
Uh, what did you think? Five out of five. Five in out. Our, in our very, very continual effort to rate things out of five, which we've been doing so well at. The best of an hour. Yeah, five out of five. What did you think of uh, the water veil that didn't stop when you walked through it? Um, a bit sad. You went at speed. I didn't go at speed. I went at very normal pace, actually. Well, okay. Why didn't I get wet then? Exactly. Not that I'm shocked, but uh, yeah, it's getting busy. We need to find your passport. Yeah, we do. We already have them. Um, okay, it could be worse. It could be worse. We have officially started the cookie stroll with Connections Cafe, which is Starbucks. And we got a festival sugar cookie. It's been stamped. Holiday sugar cookie. Holiday sugar cookie. And I said to Andrew, which ones do you want? He went, I don't want any of them. So I've got to eat five cookies by myself. I mean, the snickerdoodle does look good. Technically, looking through the little passport, we should be doing, hooking a right and going to well, Canada. It's just done in that way. But we're going to hook a left and do that instead. Did you want to go in the creation oh. shop? We can pop our little heads in. Yep, we can have a little look. We have paid for Guardians. Yeah, we paid for Guardians again. At three o'clock. At uh, three. No, it's ridiculous. And it's an absolute waste of money. When you look it at is it, not. Look, look at it in the big picture it is. But it's fantastic. And I'm quite happy to do it. Spending no, obscene being... amounts of money to go on a ride that lasts for two minutes. Well, we knew that's what we signed up for. Oh, it's the, yeah, I like the bookends. Sorry. That looks like Kiki. That does look like Kiki. Oh, Kiki. Oh, they are, they are heavy. I think you can get these at Shop Disney in the UK. Yeah, that is cute. Not for me, though. No, it is, it's cute. Mm. They know what they're doing. I do like this pattern. This one. Not the Starbucks cup. Although I do like the Starbucks cup. It's a Lizzie McGuire cup. Oh my god, I would have killed for one of these when I was younger. How much we, is it? No, nah, I won't drink from How it. How much is it? It's twenty-five doll hairs. Doll, doll hairs. Doll hairs. I absolutely love that. Oh, why does she look so angry? Does she look angry? A little bit. It's a bit like you before you had your morning cup I know, or something. I get hungry. They would look great in our kitchen. It's hard to get them home. Yeah. 40, 40, 4 99 well, Plus tax. You could take this in hand luggage. Like oh, I do like those pajamas. Pajim jams. Pajim jams. Pajim jams. They are nice. Yeah. I think we're going to have um, a bit more of like a shopping finishing up day at Springs. Probably on Saturday. On Saturday, yeah. Oh, Andrew, look! It's a water stick. Yeah. Oh. What do you try? What? Can you imagine that going off at two Can you please look at how much that is? How is that cheaper than the like the little saucers? It's thirty nine ninety nine. Right, you've just started something. Can we leave now? <laughs> how does it feel being at Epcot and it's sunny? Andrew's been trying to get this shot for ages. I'm not sure. Some of them work and some of them don't anymore. Isn't she a beauty? Oh, and the sun shining. This is what we've waited for. It was worth it. I didn't want it. I didn't want 30 degree heat because that's just not comfortable. But I just wanted a little bit of sun. That's all I wanted. Just a little port of entry. Will my jumper be here in a smaller size? Who knows? It's not looking good. 
Bloody Nora. 2X and then I think I'm just gonna have to wear it oversized. It's not no problem. It's a bit annoying. So no luck with my jumper, but that's fine because it's sunny in Epcot and I'm very thankful for that. However, Andrew just informed me whilst I was nipping into the toilet that, um, what were you saying? You overheard? No, there was just a couple and their kids who were saying that the skyline was ridiculous because it took nearly two hours to get into the park. Um, which means if it took them nearly two hours to get into the park, that means they were coming on it around the same time as us, or we were going to. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's some problems. Who knows? Yeah, there might have been. It's a pretty, it is a very efficient service. 90% of the time. Yeah. We're walking past Canada. We need to be going into Canada. Yeah, let's go into Canada. Even with its scaffolding. Even with its scaffolding. So yeah, sometimes you just got to pay to get a lift if you're not as organised. But who knows? Because the next thing I said to Andrew is like, we could have done the Skyliner from Pop to get to Caribbean to then change to go to Epcot. What was the queue like at the Caribbean? Just so you can see yourself, Andrew. No. Reporting for duty. <laughs> oh, Andrew. You Someone want... knows of a good, like, hat, hat brand. brand. Tee -hee. I feel like it's a bit naughty. I really like a t-shirt, but it's the Canada t-shirt. I've never been to Canada, but I've been to the pavilion. So does that count? Look how nice this t-shirt is, Andrew. I really like it. But I've never been to Canada. That's okay. We have just in the world sugars. Canada. Maybe I'll get it as well. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Should we have a t-shirt? Yeah. Match t Can we then change into the t-shirts today? Please. I Can I try it on? Oh no, look, Andrew, look at this one. That's thinner though. I like I like those little tie dye. Well, I haven't bought it yet. I've got a medium. Oh, is that the last medium? Not that I'm a medium. Have I just they? Oh. I mean, lengthwise and fit, I think XL is going to be great. And that is why you're going to the pavilions because you might find something that you like. We are now in England at the pubby. England's not my favourite. I think it's because I'm from the UK and I look at it and I just go, hmm, this isn't quite right. Why isn't someone gobbing on the street? <laughs> What's your interpretation of the UK? I said, do you need someone gobbing on the street? Yeah, it depends. This, this, do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me a little bit like the castle meets. I mean, it's giving me more Harry Potter vibes, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's, it's but I guess it's old. It's old England, isn't it? It's old England. Old England. It's what everybody, everybody romanticizes about. Yeah, but... There is a spirit jersey for England. No, on the back it says "Hello, mate." Oh, that one. That's hilarious. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm not vibing with that. I'm afraid. If you twining's tea. Twining's tea. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna put that on the back of a spirit jersey, please drop the H. Christmas tea. What is a Christmas? It's a black tea. Oh, it's spicy. I love how Andrew's decided to come into a tea shop and he doesn't drink tea. For me, yes. Can you can we please guess the prices? I'm gonna go with nine ninety five. What, has everyone just got to go to the front till and find out how much it is? So we've just come out of Twinings and we've seen an absolutely beautiful display of Mary Poppins dress and then you've got like the carousel horses and uh, to be honest her dress is lovely of course but my favourite is the umbrella with the peacock's head on it. Is it? No, it's, it's a parrot isn't it? We are now heading into France. We dipped out before France to go to guest relations. He is so hooked on these annual passes and I'm like, we are the type of people that are only really gonna come once a year. 
maybe twice, but one will be like just for a week or just 10 days. So Andrew went to go and ask the question, guess religions, whether it's worth doing an annual pass at Disney, because we've done it at Universal and we've worked out even if we come once a year with Universal, we upgraded our tickets that we've got now, and then it will roll over to the next time we come, so we, it does work out, but still not coming more than once a year. Disney doesn't really do that. We can't upgrade our types of tickets. Uh, if we could, we would have done it. Um, but ultimately, you need to be coming to Disney like at least three times a year to get your money's worth. I mean, yeah. the way Universal worked out so well for us was because I said, yeah, we, we were we were up eight, we were able to upgrade the tickets we already we had. An upgraded ticket value for our first day, which was just pure luck. Yeah. And yeah. It's just a different type of system. But it's good that you asked the question, we now know. Um, Plus, £1,100 for two weeks worth of tickets, yes, it's a lot of money, is it worth it, my opinion? Um, yeah. Yeah, well, it's how many parks there are. You can park hop, I mean, this will be irrelevant next year. Yeah, I mean, we've gone to three parks in one day before, haven't we? The same today. Yeah, um, I've just seen that Hatman is finally featured in Haunted Mansion Ride the Haunted Mansion ride so I saw it and I got really excited because I've been waiting for Hatman he was due to go in I swear in November or October end of October they announced well they at least announced it and um, I've been getting really excited and I saw Hatman is in so I want to go see Hatman and Andrew's like well we can go on the monorail and go and see him but I was really up for just having an Epcot day today, so we're going to see how, how much we get done and maybe dip over to the Magic Kingdom and then come back here again because we're, our dinner is only at the boardwalk, so it'll be a lot of, I say a lot of travel, it's not that far away, but effort I suppose. Let's see, we can't go anywhere without taking photos or filming. I wouldn't say I'm fluent in French, no Andrew. But I did tell you what it said on the side. Do you know what Les Chefs de France means? I can make a relatively good assumption. Go on then. Chefs in France. Well done. French chefs. Yeah. Do you know what uh, Le Petit Déjeuner means? Pudding of the day. Le Petit, so small, small meal of the day. Probably no, I think breakfast. it means like your first breakfast, your first meal of the day breakfast I think that's what it means I think I'm quite clever remembering French from 15 years ago plat du jour said so like dish of the day moving swiftly on we are now in Morocco yeah I won't hold your hand then I'm filming I'm filming we have not gone through Morocco before this is nice isn't it look at the mosaic this is very pretty that palm tree is perfectly placed. It is, I love that. The landscaping. Oh, this is the fountain that people talk about. Quite a lot of people have their photo taken here. But how do you not get a wet bum? I guess you do get a wet bum. Yeah, detailed. Very detailed. It smells great. I very much like these little fountain areas. They're very colourful. All the colours, Ainge. It's quiet though because nowhere's open till 11. I um, absolutely loved Morocco. I feel like we experienced Morocco but without the horrendous heat. Correct. We are heading to Japan. 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 Japan and then China. Then it's China. Okay. Yeah, of course it's Japan. The um, Japan, Germany, China. Yeah, because they're next to each other. I think when you when you see the magnitude of what they've done here, you do go and explore. Whereas Morocco, we thought, oh, that's just Morocco. But have a little look and just spend that time. They're actually moving the barges now. Look, they're moving them. They've been just sitting there, and now they're moving them. It's not from last year, is that, I think that's part of eliminations. Oh. 
Oh yeah, we're missing out on illuminations, which is the new fireworks spectacular. We leave on the day it's premiering, which sucks. Because we added an extra two days to a holiday for a honeymoon. And it's fallen on the day that we leave. I, I think it's just because I was such a big fan of Harmonious. Harmonious was possibly my favorite. I think I loved it more when I went home and listened to the music and the songs. Like, how long would you say it is? 20 minutes long, listening to the songs back to back. And they flow into each other and we've watched it on Disney Plus as well. Oh, it's, it's my absolute favorite. When they bring that back, I'll be like, Andrew, we are booking a trip and we are booking it now just to go back and see Harmonious. I don't know how people played down Harmonious and didn't think it was fantastic. But Epcot Forever, we walked, we did Space 220 and then we, was, we were walking back to the Skyline, Skyliner because our plan was, oh, we'll watch it another time. And we were listening to it and it took us 10 minutes to get to the Skyliner or wherever it was with crowds. And I, even just listening to what they put together with the fireworks, I just, it wasn't for me. It's a filler show. It definitely, no, and they've, they've openly said that, but I just don't, for me and my personal preference, I don't want to hear a child narrate a fireworks show. And I know it's, it's to do with like the future and I suppose kids are the future and, and all that and then figments involved. And I get that whole vibe with Epcot, it's just, Harmonious was about all the different countries and different languages and singing in different languages and it was just really just fantastic. I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna go explore Japan now. Yeah, with Japan, I love all their little gardens and the little bonsai trees. Oh, are they, are they koi? Is it koi fish? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that one. They're well expensive, I think. The more you spend time exploring the pavilions, there are some sneaky little places to sit. If you are a little bit of a panicker like me, finding hidden spots like this, obviously it's only three minutes to 11, which is when all the little concession stands open. And I reckon that's when hordes of people will come in, but it's so nice to just be tucked away. I'll be well annoyed if it gets busy here when the park is busy because these are little places you just jot down or note down that they are here. Not ideal if it rains but Andrew said our aim is to do all the pavilions before midday. That is in an hour and I'm getting thirsty. I just want to sit down but then you stop sitting down and you get up and it's busy. I love the sound of running water. And now a bit of drums. A correction has been made. It is Japan, then America. Long. Japan, Germany, China, whatever I said. Whatever ridiculous stuff I came out with, incorrect. We're learning. We're learning. So then after... Did you want to do Voices of Liberty? Uh, not right now, if I'm being completely honest. Okay. Uh, we, we spent quite a bit of time in America. The other day. The other day. It's very, it's actually a well. Let's go and have a wander around it. I think it's quite a small little pavilion person. It's large but small. Oh, I just love a fountain. The American Adventure. An epic theatrical event starring Mark Twain and Benjamin Franklin. 11.45. It is 11. Obviously, there are countries that don't celebrate Christmas, so you won't see Christmas tree or anything festive that I've noticed, other than you've got Olaf hidden in places, but I think that's just across the park anyway. But we are in America and there's a Christmas tree. A pineapple in there. Pineapple definitely is giving a bit of Florida. And the bow in the middle with all the fruit. I love that. You try a cookie stroll and also potentially order something else. Yeah, I'm just collecting them in my bag. That's fine. Some more cookie 
Pistrel. I do not like gingerbread though. It's a gingerbread cookie. I don't like gingerbread though. Andrew's got a turkey dinner. That's 11 a.m. That's 11 a.m. And we've got another cookie. Gingerbread cookie. So we've got we've got two stamps and they are of the actual cookies, which I thought was really fantastic. We need to go back to Canada. You want a snickerdoodle? What is a snickerdoodle? I don't know, but I like the name. So we need to go to Canada. There was a black and white cookie in France, between France and Morocco. Okay. Missed that. It wasn't open to be fair. Yeah, it's just turned 11. Bear that in mind. I want to do a Linzar cookie because it's, it's like a Jammy Dodger. Uh, okay. So I kind of want a Linzar and I want another sugar cookie because I just know that I'm going to like that. Is it a good cookie? Unpopular opinion, but I'm, I'm not a fan of gingerbread. But he did look cute. You got it! That is a good wallpaper. That looks like a, a poster. Maybe. It will be. We do want some art around the house. Well done, Andrew. Maybe you can start posting stuff on your Instagram. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Using a VPN. Right, leaving America and we are gonna go into Italy. You wanna have a little? Yeah, it's right here on the right. I got this so wrong, didn't I? That's okay. Oh, Japan, Germany, China. Well, actually, it's... I don't think we've gone past China. I don't actually China's think we've a... done a loop yet. China's there. Of course, yes. We're just over halfway. America's the halfway point. Yeah. So this no, is... I mean like since being here, like at all this whole trip. Probably not. Yeah, we have. Have we? We've done like a rushed four weeks. Oh, okay. Like I don't remember rain. seeing China, but... Oh, I like cool. Italy. I love this. All the bridges. Ooh. What? Oh. Is it hidden Olaf? No, it's Olaf. Yeah, you made me get up for that. Yeah, because we're going to walk around this thing. Oh. This is making me go all tingly. What's making you go all tingly? Just like this section. It's, it's a nice, nice breeze, the sun is out. He's now smelling all the perfumes. Well, I kept on saying Fabanaba, but that was wrong. She is called La, La, La Bifana, Italy. Instead of awaiting the arrival of Santa Claus, on Christmas Eve, the children of Italy wait for the eve of the Epiphany. This night brings a visit from La Bifana, the good-natured witch who climbs down the chimney to fill their socks with handmade gifts and treats. Naughty children may find a lump of coal instead. It is said that year after year, La Befana wanders the countryside in search of the Gesù Bambino, or baby Jesus, leaving handmade gifts for good children in his honor. I enjoyed that story. I'd like to, I would like to see L La Befana Lubafana, Lubafana, um, tell that story because I kind of saw it the other day but it was about to rain. You trying to get this all done before lunch time. I feel like something's gonna happen. Oh what is Sergio doing? I think he's hyping people up for Lubafana. She's on in like 10 minutes. So looking at the celebrations of what you've got Feliz Navidad, which is at the Mexico Pavilion. Everything seems to be starting. Well, Sergio, he started at 10 to 12. The Mexico Pavilion, they're starting at, well, they started at 11.05. Their next show time is 11.55 
which is like now. Yeah, it seems like everything's kicking off now, which is why getting to Epcot for first thing, getting all the photos that you want and just experiencing the pavilion's quiet is really nice, but nothing necessarily is happening, especially if you want to eat and drink and stuff. Other than actual, I mean, some of these restaurants, they don't, they're not opening until like lunchtime now or 12.30. Shops are open, of course, but yeah, it's a difficult one to call. I think parks are parks, they're gonna be busy or you expect them to be busy because why wouldn't you wanna be here? But it's just when it gets really uncomfortably busy that you, you're like, you can't move, which was last week to be fair, and it was raining, so I'm gonna persevere today. But for right now, we're gonna see whether we can get a reservation someone seen in Italy but everything seems fully booked you need to book but you never know he's only gone and done it you guessed it we the food has arrived and I've gone to tuck in and not show you because I don't know anyone that I've watched come here and order the arancini yeah. so I'm gonna show you <laughs> And we both ordered double espresso and it's, you said it's the best. It's the best coffee I've had in there. It's nothing bad about Joffrey's, but it is not. It's nothing. I mean, it's, we're in Italy. This made, this, you know, this made the Joffrey's coffee. coffee. It'd be really embarrassing yeah, if that's the that case, but really it tastes totally different. It tastes so good. It's like saffron. It's so good. I'd like to know what's in the middle. That is good, isn't it? God bless you, son. Please don't say that. Don't put that out of your request. No, God's blessing. Pizza ovens, mate. Our pizzas arrived. We've made a friend. And we got just a bit carried away. The context is huge. It is huge. But yours, hang on, wait. Your size is spicy sausage and mushroom. <laughs> and mine's bisquito. That's so good. <sighs> Give me more pizza. Give it to me. Get in my belly. Oh, please, baby. So we've eaten too much. Yeah, we've just left Italy, and I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself. I didn't even eat that much, but I think it's just. It's heavy food, isn't it? Was it was delicious, but it was heavy. Yeah, like I'd definitely go back there again, but I'm just feeling a bit... Poor little sausage. Yeah, as well as just being a bit tired today. Just, I, I feel my body's like, you're putting me through too much. Now I've got to digest all of this. It's it's a lot, but it's okay though, because we're at mini village. What would you call this, a mini model set? Little, little model village. Little model, model village. This is actually my dream. Little known fact is that my parents' loft is still a Hornby set with all of these fake trees and things like that. I love it's it. It's very, very good. And this is um, right outside Germany. We're in ultra slow mode, but we are still collecting cookies. I'm in a hotel. We haven't forgotten. By the time we get round to World Showcase, we've got to be in such pit-top condition for Guardians. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do Guardians for this, right? But we're not going to be defeatists. Who you want to go in the Caramel Cooch? We'll go to Caramel Cooch. Where does it know? Yeah, I can't even smell it yet. And he's off. All I know how to say in German is Ich bin elf Jahre alt and that's I am 11 years old. That's that's it. You are welcome. Sitting on the uh, on the bench feeling sorry for myself and I've just gone into the shops already without me. And he's seen a really funny t-shirt. I don't give a schnitzel. That's very good. I'm cuckoo for Germany. That's nice though. Oh, I thought it was going to be more than that, to be fair. I tried getting that home in one piece. No, look, I feel like they brought their prices down. Last year I was really shocked. But I mean, they are very light and for 20, what was it, 21.99? I don't know. I don't know whether I'm just a bit, if I don't love something. The bell is, I don't like beers. I don't like beers. Like how much, that's tight. Yeah, that's so expensive. But I mean, there's a good idea. Oh, they're a very good idea. But if I was really into pickles, yeah, I'd get that. What are you doing? 
Oh, Andrew. I'm lady fan, I'm good, I'm glad. Have I got a bogey? No, not like the other video where you get a hole. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You've got a real bogey station. Oh, oh God. This smells like an upset coin. I think this is setting me off. Not good smell. Oh, it's so sweet, and when, once you've like eaten so much food and you smell this, we're gonna have to go the other way. Anyway, it's a Werther's original shop. It smells great, just not when you're very full. Like I haven't been in that shop before, and people aren't joking about how sweet it smells in there. Like I feel like I was eating more just smelling all that. Anyway, we're leaving Germany. That is a massive queue. Oh, oh. It's a meet and greet, that's why. I was like, oh, I want to get the Bavarian cookie. But maybe I won't. Ugh, I wasn't recording. But anyway, we've left Germany. And we are now... Well, we're now in China. Um, we did walk through some markets, which were interesting. There's like a basin, a festival of the holidays, concession. And then there was like... I think it was like... Hawaii kind of I don't know holiday markets there was loads of hats and there was like a drinks cocktail concession but anyway we bought some bits but it is very very busy so I apologize I'm not getting you out as much so whilst Andrew's filming a bit of China I'll show you what we got. It's only two things, nothing crazy. Um, we got a pin. Oh, the table's wobbling. Festival of the Holidays pin, which is limited edition because it's 2023, was 17.99, and then we got a matching Christmas ornament, which was 19.99. We were being a bit silly and trying on some hats, but there's just hordes of people now. And as we were saying, if you want to do Epcot or like see the different pavilions, even with like the concessions uh, shops closed, the best time to do it is like first thing or before 11, because as soon as everything like full on opens up everywhere, just it's packed, but it's a park, so end up repeating myself. Yeah, very talented. I can hear it from here. Insert B-roll now. It's a Shanghai holiday kitchen. Oh, that's so cute. Let's find Olaf in Norway. Norway is very pretty. People are quite upset that the Viking ride is no more. No, no, no. I've only ever know, known it as the Frozen ride. Oh, that's what it was like. Which, on popular opinion, I'm not a massive fan of. Clever ride. And the set design, everything's great. I just felt a bit rocked around, but it's a boat ride, what do you expect? I'm gonna go see Barn Santa. Now, it, it is said that this uh, Barn Santa is a very old and rather odd looking little gnome. He looks like this. <coughs> but that's not true! Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Did you say something? No? I'm just hearing things now. Okay. <laughs> Well now, Christmas uh, in, uh, in in Norway is uh, it's my favorite time of year. <laughs> we have festive decorations, all like this. What did you think about learning about Barn Santa? Uh, it's really well done. It's very cute. So I think the whole concept in Norway and about their Santa, which is Barn Santa, is that he's a bit naughty. He's a bit silly. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the people that they've got presenting that is really good. 
and all the kids were like sat cross-legged at the front of the stage like in awe of this story that's been told right andrew james cuthbert grace olivia susan stewart cuthbert would you like to enter mexico well there's nothing else that's here really it's just a walkthrough that's what we thought last year well we were big fat wrong I thought that this was a ride. Nope, there are so many things to see inside. Andrew's come around the corner, I was like, you are going to be so annoyed. He was like, oh, is it not good? And I was like, no, it is good. I mean, this may not have been here last year, but... You okay? So good. You know how much I want to touch that? How they've got the bone and the tongue coming out and all the detail. Wow, even the flowers on her dress. Have you seen how they've um, they've done it? They've uh, signed their names off. Oh, uh, that's cool. But not even in the main bit yet. It means like that false perspective. We are finally here and going to look through all the little markets, all the shops. We've made it to the big fat Christmas tree where Joyful play and it's their last performance of the day so we're watching them aren't we? Yeah. Post lunch chill haven't we? Be taking it slow. Walking around. It's quite nice because we've still got quite a lot to do today. We were thinking about like going back to the hotel and chilling for a bit but Grace is like no we're persevering. They were on my bucket list to see before we went home. Their voices are beautiful. Joyful. Joyful. It's getting busier. And depending on how long these guys are, we've got between six and seven to do Guardians. I moved it. To? I moved it from three till four. Yeah, from three till four to... Yeah, six, seven. Actually, really good thing to know is don't abuse the system, but if for whatever reason just not filling up for a ride or you just need like some time out, like Grace has needed a little bit today as well, just from like, you know, busy few days, was we've just gone to a guest experience and said, could we please move our lightning lane time because you can't modify it in the app. Then we move that later and again, absolutely, not a problem. And if it got really bad, whatever he says, leave the park, we just go up to them again and yep. they'll refund. Seriously? Yeah, really That's good. That's really good. So yeah, I do, I, yeah, I do want to be up for it. I'm just feeling a bit iffy I don't think going on a spinny roller coaster when you feel iffy is good no wearing all white but no but at the same time it's it's like my favourite ride in this park so I'm really persevering here and we're going to do that and we're going to do soaring I want to do soaring those are two well sicky rides but yes I know there's a lot of screens oh see you later well there's screens for soaring a few or for um Guardians. Hello everyone and welcome to the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. We are pleased to present Joyful, a celebration of the season. We hope that you are all filled with joy. were in fact joyful funny that um or divine voices or very... yeah they are called divine voices um from florida fantastic we have just come out of england bypassed france and now we're heading out of the park to go scope out uh the broadwalk Boardwalk. my best friend we're going to be going to uh the yachts from the steakhouse this evening yeah i'm um I'm really not feeling fab, so I'm not sure I'm going to... Look, you're not going to be eating a 24-hour rib by steak by yourself. But, but are you going to yes. have it by yourself? And you may have a sliver. The cookie stroll has not gone well. Unfortunately, though, even, even 
even if we really wanted to, I'm going to be honest, I don't particularly want to sit there and just stand in a line for 15, 20 minutes waiting for uh, to be served a cookie. Five dollars. Yeah, and when you're feeling rancid, and it, and it has been very warm today, um, I really wanted to get a Linzar, but the queue was zigzagging round. I don't know what, what else was on that menu. Other than the Linzar cookie, I think it was beer. It's a, it was a beer flight or something. It's really not that far, so we've just come round here. So Epcot is there. We've come round here. And the boardwalk is right here. Well, this is bloody lovely. Wow. No gator, though. I think that's where you can order the kitchen sink. Oh, literally, that ice cream so I think, tray. Yes, yeah, so I think you can stay above here as well. Yes, the food walk in. Oh, it gives me the tingles. This feels the most Disney. Christmas tree. Yeah, Christmas tree is just... If you just feel a bit, I keep on saying this, a bit overstimulated from the parks. This is really nice. Just take yourself away really nice. Safe to say that um, the boardwalk is on our list of places to stay slash want to stay. Andrew's in Garland Heaven. I'm going to try and do this without yawning. I've yawned about 60 times just walking from the boardwalk over to the yacht club. But we're just yeah checking out the yacht club and then you've got the beach club which is also connected. All very confusing but very interesting. I see a Christmas tree! Whoa! Wow, does it smell good? Oh yeah. Holy moly. It's all very interesting really. I still feel like I'm so new to understanding a lot about Disney and what it offers and different locations and stuff, but then putting Christmas on top of that and all the overlays and the Christmas trees and the garlands and just festivities in general is just like, whoa. It's almost like this is the only time of year you'd come and do Disney because they put on such a show. But it's so cute. It's quite dark actually inside. There are like tiny, tiny little windows here. But all the garlands so pretty i mean it's stupid really because disney of course is going to look good good evening andrew would you like to take the lead on this we have five days left of our stay honeymoon honeymoon let's make that very clear we fly back on the evening orlando time of the fifth and we we're going to be staying the night of the 3rd and the night of the 4th at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which we're still going to do. Yeah, that's always been on the... However, um, I've wanted to try a couple of other resorts. I get really bored at staying at hotels. And... and I, I wouldn't say and you get let bored, me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. I do get bored. And... I thought for our honeymoon it would be really nice just to go and do maybe another hotel, maybe try something different. Hey, it could be a big mistake. It really could. This has been full on research, this, this, and, this honeymoon. And I am, I'm also looking at resorts that we don't like to come back to later, like all of that. So we... Is this going to make people feel sick because we're moving? Probably. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> we inquired as a walk up for a room at Beach Club. We have some money left over in our spending money. We have been spending quite a lot, but not as much as we thought we would or anticipated. We didn't realise how successful DAS was going to be. Andrew said earlier, like, we did budget to do Genie Plus every single day at, like, the highest possible prices so that we wouldn't get caught out. Yes, we used it a lot last week, but we haven't obviously done it this week. And uh, we do have to stop and remind ourselves that this is our honeymoon. We do, we're not obviously going to have a lavish holiday like this again could we've gone off and done the Maldives or got, gone and done Asia because that was an option that of what a honeymoon we wanted to have we didn't think we were going to have a honeymoon this quickly but we have it's been amazing and with how I've been feeling as of late and 
hop has been great for many many reasons but we are just like with animal kingdom or animal uh, kingdom lodge on the horizon and what we've been up to today having a look around here this is somewhere that we would like to stay in the future and we have the possibility to do it now so we're doing it now and yeah. casting will be able to cast an opinion on it because I think what we have in mind is doing trips like this fairly I don't want to say basic because I don't think pop is basic I think pop is great if I'm honest but yeah. it is a value resort and it's it's nice that we had another resort to look forward to at the end. Yes, we had hard rock in the middle as well, but having some something to look forward to at the end of the trip and be a place where we would hone ourselves and relax at is something that I'm feeling I want to do sooner rather than later. Yeah. We wouldn't have had the funds to do it when we were planning no. that as an option, but we do now and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna check in tomorrow, stay tomorrow and then the next night and then we're moving to Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think the big thing I'd like is for us to be able to have a little base over the next couple of days. I don't think Animal Kingdom Lodge or the Magic Kingdom, for when we were at the Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, I don't think we're gonna be doing a huge amount. I think we're just gonna be doing the little bits that we wanna do. A big reason why, like, I'm a big animal lover, as are you, and just to be, Animal Animal Kingdom isn't my favorite park, but one of my favorite rides is there. Um, but Animal Kingdom Lodge, seeing the animals there, and like the savanna bit and just being like at the lodge and experiencing it. We did want to use the pool, but now it looks like it's raining on our last day. Could do it on our first day, but I guess we're gonna be at Magic Kingdom. I think we just, enjoy what we've got and yeah. and I'm 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 not throwing our plans out the window and I'm not throwing this We're just adjusting vlog them. series out the window but I think it's just about this is a bit of a come on up, come with us on a bit of a whirlwind mooch around you know we're not getting up for road trip every single morning we're not going to do it tomorrow morning we're going to be sort of packing getting over to this resort um, and then getting over to Hollywood Studios we've got a fantastic Fantasmic. I was going to say Fantasmic. It is Fantasmic. Yeah. I What's think you're the gonna... film? Fantasia. Yeah. Which is based yeah. off, I think. Uh, we've got that tomorrow evening. But what I think we might end up doing is Grace wants to do Tower of Terror um, tomorrow because... Um, With how I'm feeling at the moment, I think I am th going to end up harming you I think I think that's incorrect. Uh, but once we've done Tower of Terror like two or three times, uh, back to back, um, and then roll the... Uh, rock and roller coaster six times back to back we'll probably just come back here chill for a little bit yeah could go do guardians could go yeah could park up to do guardians i just want to make sure that we we do go back feeling slightly more rested we don't I've, i'm not feeling very well i've got i'm quite susceptible to like chest infections like bronchitis and sinusitis -y type of things i always seem to get it when we come to the states never anywhere else but Aircon. I want to, yeah, I want to just have a little relax. And be a bit bougie, if yeah. we can. And we've got the money, that we could spend that money on tat, or we could spend it on the experience. And if the experience is great, then amazing, and if it is not quite as what we well, then we'll expected, let you know. then we know that we won't go back to that place. But at least we've tried it. Yeah. So, on that note, I think... I'm loving this, by the way, just being on here and looking out. Mm, it's very nice. I'm looking forward to doing that tomorrow. Did you want to go to Epcot? Let's go to Epcot. Oh, we got wide. We are down to five. We've made it to Guardians. We're going on Guardians. We are both feeling a bit rough. But we persevere. I look like an egg. Well, Guardians was amazing. I said to Andrew, oh, we're not going to get September. Like, that's my favourite song. We're not going to get it. We haven't had it this whole trip. And we got it. I kind of thought that every carriage on the ride has their own separate little song. But no, it's like a CD. When, it, when each um, line of carts come round, the song changes. So that's interesting. We are now going to go see Moana at night time, if it's open, I think it's open, and head to our 
Yachtman Steak House reservation. It's so different at night. So I feel like we brushed this a tiny little bit in the morning, but the first bit is rain, which it's kind of misting you at the moment. The second bit is, is water cycle. It's just a whole different experience at night. Busier tea. Oh. Mm. oh, she looks so pretty. Look at these. I just don't, I just don't notice it. So someone's just said that this is a manta ray that comes out and then I think the mouth is there. Well, I'm assuming that's supposed to be the mouth. So subtle. Whoa! Yeah, if you think you're going to stay dry going through this, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> Way more aggressive at night than it is in the morning. I like this though. I feel like I'm in a music video. Can't really tell. But it does look different at night. The only downside is that there's lots of people. Yeah. But if you had extended park hours, park hours, which Epcot does have tonight. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, is it just tonight? Yeah. Bummer. We're learning. As we go and as we do. But also like what we want to do at Disney and what we want to get out of it. Yeah, so I can imagine that some people are probably watching or have watched our vlogs going, well, why haven't they done this and why haven't they done that? Like, why have they done it like this? Or yeah. why are they being this clueless? <laughs> A lot of that. Why is that guy just blubbering and chatting utter rubbish? Well, it just is what it is. Um, it would be boring if we were all perfect and the same. But I've really enjoyed this honeymoon and we've got some amazing days left. Yeah. We're just planning how we want to divvy up our time, what we haven't done that we want to do, what we want to do again. Um, and that's spread across quite a few parks. So we need to be a little bit savvy, but we're also trying to listen to our bodies and be like, this is the end of our trip and we don't want to go home burnt out. It just means we've got to come back and there's a reason why you've come back.